Rift Valley fever is infectious disease which is caused by virus which also known as Rift Valley fever virus. It usually infects livestock but it can also infect humans and in humans most commonly is transmitted by mosquito bites. Rift Valley fever usually is spread an endemic area is Africa, especially southern and eastern Africa regions. Rift Valley fever first was described in Rift Valley region in Kenya, that's why it has such name. In 80% of cases of Rift Valley fever, there is no symptoms and people even don't know they have Rift Valley fever. Uh, such uh, such cases are 80 percent and they called asymptomatic in rest uh, around 20 20 percent there is mild symptoms symptoms are mild and no serious symptoms in most cases it's usually uh, usually flu-like symptoms such as fever headache muscle pains sore eyes nausea vomiting diarrhea but why is so important this this infection because one percent in one percent there is severe disease and severe disease can cause complications and 50 percent of complications cause uh, it cause death or it's fatal so uh, fatality rates this disease has less than one percent but near one percent so it's important and Actually, it's high death rate. That's why this disease is important. Uh, and uh, what is complications and what is signs of serious disease? Uh, signs are bleeding from gums, bleeding from nose and other orifices of the uh, body uh, and altered mental states, which means encephalitis, uh, inflammation of the brain. Uh, and uh, this um, bleeding is sign of uh, uh, it's sign of uh, bleeding disorder which is caused by this virus uh, and it is called hemorrhagic or hemorrhagic fever it's serious serious complication uh, encephalitis is serious complication there is question how long this uh, disease is last usually from two days to seven days it's in mild cases in severe cases it can last 14 days or much more or it can uh, uh, it can cause death of course that's why it's important uh, what, what is incubation period from infected uh, from mosquito bite to first symptoms it's around two to five days it's incubation period uh, two to seven days is when symptom uh, symptoms last and when complications can occur, complications can occur from any day from 2 to 14 days. After 14 days, usually no complications will occur. So, um, but usually we should say that uh, its um, course of this disease is mild. And now let's say about treatment. We have no specific treatment. We have no specific vaccine and no vaccine for uh, Rift Valley fever, uh, but just supportive care, supportive treatment such as rest, uh, enough fluids, uh, pain medication, treatment complications, of course, in clinic and hospital, uh, if, if there's bleeding or shock or encephalitis. Uh, if we say pain about pain medication, it's important because uh, non-steroidals, uh, non-steroidals are not recommended they are not recommended because they can increase risk of bleeding. That's why uh, if we use pain medications, it's better to use acetaminophen. Not better. Uh, you should not. You should not use acet. Uh, you should not use aspirin, ibuprofen, and other non-steroidals because they can increase risk of um, bleeding. That's why. And what is prevention? Prevention is avoid contact with infected livestock or. Uh, uh, 
contact at all with livestock where this infection is uh, endemic if you are traveling this region of Africa you should avoid such contacts you should avoid uh, mosquito bites uh, you, you can use uh, long uh, slaves uh, and um, you can use mosquito repellents also uh, that's all I wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now